You know, in today's RV market, there's a lot of choices that consumers happen to have on which products to buy. So what we wanted to do today is show you some of the things we do different here at KZ. Hope you like what we're gonna show you. Follow me. Well, here at Plant 6, it all starts with our Lipper chassis. It's powder coated, steel stamped cross members. We also use full with outriggers compared to some of our competition that actually might use a full with outrigger. When our wall sits down, sits right on the outside edge, it's lag bolted through it, completely supports your chassis from below. And then inside of our chassis is where we're gonna start our freshwater tank. A little different than some of our competition, we actually just may use metal straps to support that. We actually have a cage system that holds our freshwater tank inside the chassis when you're in transportation. Something that sets us apart is that we actually build our floors in house. You can actually see we actually run our heat plenum through the belly of the coach. And inside of our floor, we actually run our hot and cold water lines, the drain line for our plumbing. And there's also batten insulation that is inside this floor that's wrapped with 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood. And also you'll see, if you follow me here, that our floor plenum runs right down the belly of the coach. Well, at this point, things are starting to come together. You can see we've actually got the sidewall sitting on the chassis and our base cabinets are starting to be set. Well, here in the kitchen, you can kind of see that our pantry is starting to come to life and our kitchen island is set here in the 366. Our exterior wall sits right on top of our floor, which is bolted through with a stuffed aluminum tube. Our pressurized water tank test lasts about an hour and a half. There's two tanks that we have. Water draws from the one tank, that's a gravity fed tank, and then after the test is concluded and that there's no water leaks, we recycle the water to be used again for a future test. In manufacturing, it's easy to build the units heavy, but it's difficult to build them lightweight. So one thing that we do here with our Gold and our Venom product is we actually use aluminum rafters. Also with that, you're gonna see that they're stuffed with wood so that when these actually sit on top of our sidewall, they're bolted together, gives it longevity of the sidewall. The roof section here is made entirely with one piece. All of our rafters are aluminum that are built 16 inches on center. We have a racetrack style air conditioning system, which you can see right here behind me. That means whether you're using one or two air conditioners, you can get AC in the front and the back of the coach. And also with our Golds, being two 15K ACs, ACs are standard, we actually have an option for a third 15K AC. A little different than some out there in the field is that you can actually run all three 15K AACs at the same time without a power management system. And lastly, with all of our rafters that we have here in the roof, that are actually glued to our ceiling board compared to being stapled through the rafters like some of our competition may do. At this point, the roof's almost finished. You can see the seams have been taped, all the high spots have been sanded, and there's an aluminum transition flap that connects the roof to the sidewalls. And the end result, this one happens to have the three 15K AACs installed and our optional two 220 watt solar panels. And we use 3M adhesive decals. Well, we're sitting here in the finished product of a Durango Gold. Thanks for taking a few minutes today to go through KZ Manufacturing with me. For more information about specs, floor plans, please go to kz-rv.com.